Hello there, senior high school students, and welcome back! In this video, we are going to nourish your minds with useful information to improve your mathematical skills. Be ready with your paper and pen as we share another interesting lesson in general mathematics, specifically in solving exponential inequalities. At the end of the session, you are expected to Describe the property of exponential inequalities and solve exponential inequalities. So let's start with the property of exponential inequalities. Now, with a given exponential inequality, if the base b is greater than 1, then y is equal to b raised to the power of x is increasing for all values of x. If the base b is greater than 0 but less than 1, then y is equal to b raised to the power of x is decreasing for all values of x. Be careful! Every time you solve exponential inequalities, you need to take note that the resulting direction of the inequality is based whether the base b is greater than or less than 1. Let's focus our attention to the main highlight of this session, which is solving exponential inequalities. Let's start by solving this inequality. The given is 9 raised to the power of 2x minus 1 is less than 27 raised to the power of x plus 3. Now, similar to exponential equations, we have here this note, right? Remember this tip? That we are going to write both sides of the equality, but this time, you're going to write both sides of the inequality as powers of the same base. Since 9 and 27 are not yet expressed having the same base, then that will be our first step in solving this given inequality. Since 9 is 3 times 3, that's 3 squared, we can write it as 3 squared, then we copy this one. And 27 is also with a base of 3, right? Because that's 3 times 3 times 3. That's 3 cubed for this value, 27. So let's use that as we solve this inequality. Let's continue. So let me copy that given and express 9 and 27 with a base 3, like this. There you go. That's 3 squared and 3 cubed. And I just copied the exponent 2x minus 1 and x plus 3. Now, our next step will be, look at this. In our inequality, we have already the same base, okay? Since the base 3 for this given is greater than 1, then that means the direction of the inequality is retained. It further means that we are going to copy the inequality symbol of this given. So we have copy the exponent 2 multiplied to the quantity of 2x minus 1. And the inequality symbol is as is, that's less than 3 times the quantity of x plus 3, that will be this exponent. So from that, we are going to distribute. So we have 2 multiplied to 2x will give us a 4x. And 2 multiplied to negative 1 will give us a negative 2. We copied here the inequality symbol less than. And 3 multiplied to x will give us a 3x. And we have also 3 multiplied to 3. And that will give us a 9. Our next target is we make sure that on the left side, we are left with our variable. And on the right side, we have our constants. So we have 4x here, and we still have 3x on the right side. So we need to get this and place that on the left side. Now to do that, we'll have to subtract 3x to both sides of our equation. So we are left with this one. Since 4x minus 3x is x, we have x here, copied minus 2. Copy the inequality symbol less than, and we are left here on the right side with 9 because this one is already canceled out, right? Okay, so we will make use of that. And this time, we already have x here, and we still have negative 2. So we are going to add 2 to both sides to solve for x. There we go. 
We are left here with 9 and 2. So adding that, that will give us a sum of 11. So we have x. We are looking for x. So x here is less than positive 11. And that is our answer for this exponential inequality. I hope you're following. You can view once more our solution for this exponential inequality. And hopefully you have the same answer. So allow me to proceed with our next example. Let's solve for this inequality. One fourth raised to the power of x plus three is greater than or equal to one half raised to the power of x. Okay, now we need to recall our tip in the previous example. That is, we are going to write both sides of the inequality as powers of the same base. Now here, one fourth and one half, they're not yet the same, right? But we can actually express one fourth in terms of this base, which is one half. Because one fourth is a product of one half and one half. It's one half squared. We will use that in our solution in the next part. So allow me to copy that inequality. Okay, there. And we are going to express now one fourth as one half squared, like this. You see? From one fourth, it's now one half, and I have here the squared. I copy the rest, which is x plus three, and the rest of the given inequality. So from there, what we're going to do now is, since they have the same base, that's one half, we can now copy the exponents, right? But we need to take note that since our base is less than one, that's one half, it's less than one, then the direction of the inequality is reversed. It means that I'll copy the exponent, and I will change the inequality symbol. I reversed it. The given now is, remember, that the given is greater than or equal to. Reversing that will have less than or equal to. So that will be this one. I hope you're following. All right. Let's move it there. And next is distribute 2 to x plus 3. So that's 2 times x will give us a 2x. And 2 times 3 will give us a positive 6. I copied x and I copied the inequality symbol. And the next part is, we'll make sure that all the variables are found on the left side of our inequality. So we have to transfer x to the left side and 6 to the right side. So let's have x first. So we will subtract x to both sides of our equation. So we'll have x plus 6 because that's 2x minus x will give us an x, right? So we have here plus 6, then copied less than or equal to, and the right side now is 0. We still have 6. We'll try to eliminate that. We will subtract 6 to both sides. So we are left with x on the left side, and this time on the right side, we have 0 minus 6. That will give us a negative 6. So our answer is x is less than or equal to negative 6. Do we have the same answer? So if that's a yes, then congratulations. Good job. Well, if not, do not worry. Again, you can always revisit the portion of the video showing you the step-by-step -step procedure on how to get the answer. Okay, so this time, we will now proceed to our activity. It's activity time. I prepared a two-item assessment for you to work on and check your understanding based on our lesson. So the instruction for this one is, you're going to find the value of the variable that would make each given or inequality true. So find x. You have your item number one and item number two. You can pause this video and take your time. Go ahead. So that's it. We are done with our lesson about solving exponential inequalities. Good job for today, as always, senior high school students, and see you in the next lesson.